Hello children, I am Sravanti from Girls High School, Palvansha. In this video, I am going to tell you about a biological activity that is reproduction. It is the generating system in living organisms. Reproduction is a process by which a living organism produces new living organism of its own kind. That means by reproducing a cow can give birth to calf and a dog can give birth to puppy but not a cow. Chicken can give birth to a chick but not a cow. So the newly formed generation will resemble their parents in all aspects. Reproduction is of two types. Those are asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction involves only one parent but sexual reproduction involves both male and female organisms. Asexual reproduction involves no gametes. There is no gamete formation in asexual reproduction. But in sexual reproduction it involves both gametes. Those are male and female gametes. In asexual reproduction the offsprings resembles genetically also resembles their parents but in sexual reproduction there is a genetical difference between offsprings and their parents in this session we will discuss about asexual reproduction in animals in detail asexual reproduction asexual reproduction is a form of reproduction that involves production of a new organism by a single parent without involving gametes means there is no gamete formation there is no fusion and there is no zygote formation in the asexual reproduction okay children now you are observing types in asexual reproduction those are binary fission budding regeneration fragmentation vegetative propagation and spore formation these are the types in asexual reproduction now let us discuss about these types in detail. First we will go to binary fission. This is the simplest form of asexual reproduction. In this video you are observing binary fission of paramecium. The term fission means to divide. During binary fission the parent cell divides into two cells. The cell division patterns vary in different organisms. Some are directional while others are non-directional. Amoeba and euglena like organisms also can perform binary fission. You are observing binary fission in paramecium. By undergoing binary fission, it divides into two cells forming two daughter cells. Another examples for binary fission are amoeba, trypanosoma, flagella and paramecium. These are all undergo binary fusion during asexual reproduction. Now let us see about budding. Budding is also another type of asexual reproduction. During budding, a small bud will be grown on the parent body that will develop in their size. In this video, you can observe budding in the hydra. A small bud is growing on the body of hydra. Later, the bud can grow into new individual. This is budding. Now let us see another type of asexual reproduction that is regeneration. Regeneration is the power of growing a new organism from the last body part. For example, when a lizard loses its tail, a new tail grows. This is because a specialized cells present in the organism that can differentiate and grow into a new individual. In this video, you are observing a starfish which is growing into full size with its last body part. Now let us observe another type of asexual reproduction that is fragmentation. Fragmentation is a, another mode of asexual reproduction exhibited by organisms such as Spirogyra and Planaria etc. The parent body divides into several fragments and each fragment develop into a new organism. In this picture you are observing fragmentation in Spirogyra. The Spirogyra divides into fragments. Each fragment will 
develop into new individual this is fragmentation in spirogyria now let us observe another type of asexual reproduction that is spore formation spore formation is also one type of asexual reproduction during unfavorable conditions the organisms develop sac like structures called as sporangium that contains spores in this picture you can see spore formation in the rhizopus the green colored dot is sporangium that sporangium will contain spores when the conditions are favorable the sporangium bursts and opens into spores and release the germinate to give rise to new organisms here we have another type of asexual reproduction that is vegetative propagation vegetative propagation can be seen in plants there are also some types in vegetative propagation asexual reproduction in plants occurs through their vegetative parts such as leaves roots stem and buds this is called as vegetative propagation there are also uh, different types of vegetative propagation in our next video we will completely discuss about vegetative propagation in the plants here you can see another type of asexual reproduction that is parthenogenesis parthenogenesis is a form of reproduction in which an egg can develop into an embryo without being fertilized by sperm parthenogenesis is derived from the greek words parthenon means virgin genesis means reproduction together virgin birth and several insect species including aphids bees and ants known to reproduce by parthenogenesis in parthenogenesis males are developed from the unfertilized egg and females are developed from the fertilized egg during formation of gametes the male gametes are developed by mitotic division whereas female eggs are developed by meiotic division parthenogenesis in plants is called as parthenocarpy it is the natural or artificial induced production of fruit without fertilization of ovules which makes the fruit seedless parthenocarpy can naturally seen in the fruits like banana which are having seedless fruits but in plants by inducing hormones like gibberellin gibberellin we can also induce parthenocarpy it is also a type of asexual now let us see the advantages and disadvantages of asexual reproduction advantages of asexual reproduction mates are not required only single parent is enough for asexual reproduction the process of reproduction is rapid so that new generation is formed in a very short time an enormous number of organisms can be produced in very less time positive genetic influences pass on to successive generations it occurs in various environments disadvantages of asexual reproduction lack of diversity since the offsprings are genetically identical to the parent they are more susceptible to the same disease and nutrient deficiencies as the parent all the negative mutations persist for generations since only one organism is involved the diversity among the organisms is limited they are unable to adapt to the changing environment a single change in the environment would eliminate the entire species children now try to answer these questions define reproduction what is asexual reproduction what are the differences between sexual and asexual reproduction explain different types of asexual reproduction with examples what are the advantages and disadvantages of asexual reproduction